Oh, how double-faced she is. How well she knows to dissimulate. But all means for escape will fail you. Cast your eyes here and recognize your writing. Without having seen the other part of this letter, it is easy enough to discover for whom you employ this style. Hey, how you doing? Kurt Papke, I'm here recording a little section of Don Garcia for LibriVox, and uh, I'm using a wireless way of recording my audio. I'm actually recording into my Shure uh, microphone here, and uh, that's traveling over to my uh, Focusrite Scarlett uh, 2i2 and going into my phone, and from there going wirelessly to my computer. So once I finish my little recording here, all I have to do is walk back to my workstation and my file is there with no cables required. It's really slick. Let me show you how to put this together. We're back at our workstation and uh, we, I have voice memo open over here and you can see we have the new screen recording or the new recording. And if I play that back. Oh, how double faced she is. How yep, that's, uh, that's what we recorded. And depending upon your, your DAW, um, you may or may not be able to drag and drop. Uh, in my case, uh, Audacity won't accept a drag and drop directly from the voice memo app. So what I have is the finder open to the folder where voice memo stores the files. And uh, this particular one uh, was from 1.30, and the, the file name will be the date and time of the uh, recording and it's an M4A file. So I can pick that up and drag that right into my DAW and uh, there we have it. All set to uh, to edit. So I can assure that... Oh, how double-faced she is. How... Yep, that's it. So we're good to go. So this is the only thing you need to buy. This is a USB 3 to lightning adapter and these are available on Amazon. They're made by Apple but they're available on Amazon about 40 bucks. This is the only piece of hardware you need to buy to do this as long as you have uh, a USB microphone or uh, adapter or something like the Focus Scarlett or even the Zoom H1 which I'll show you at the end how to plug a Zoom into, uh, into this and make that work. So what this does is this goes into your phone, iPhone, and then it has, it's a little bit different from the prior camera adapters in that it's got two plugs in the back. Okay, one of them is a lightning adapter and the other one is the USB that comes from your 2i2 or whatever Scarlett device you have. The nice thing about this is uh, the power adapter it supplies enough power for the Focusrite for the Scarlett 2i2 and also keeps your phone charged so that you don't run out of phone power in the middle of a recording. So uh, really handy to have that uh, uh, power coming in here. So this is the one and only piece of hardware you need to buy for 40 bucks to make this work. The next step is to turn on iCloud sharing for voice memos on both your phone and your Mac. And you have to be signed into the same Apple ID on both devices. Here's, here's how to do it. So I'm on my Mac. Click the little Apple icon up here and select System Preferences. And uh, from here in System Preferences, I select the Apple ID. And that will come up. Uh, make sure you have iCloud selected in the sidebar at left. Select iCloud Drive Options. And then scroll down to the very bottom and make sure Voice Memos is checked. And uh, what this will do is this, uh, every time you create a Voice Memo on your Macintosh, it'll go into iCloud or if one cre is created on your iPhone, it'll be accessible on your Mac. Okay, so this is the first step is getting voice memos uh, selected in your iCloud account. Okay, so we, uh, we have uh, our Mac set up for iCloud access. Now we have to do the same thing for our phone. 
So uh, go to settings. And from settings, you click on your name. And from here, you click iCloud. And once again, you scroll down to voice memos, which is right here. And all you do is you make sure that this is green. So this means that voice memos on your phone will go to the cloud. Okay, so now we have uh, iCloud set up. Uh, one other thing that uh, I recommend, well, as long as we're in here, uh, it's a good idea to go into the regular settings for voice memo and make sure I turn off location-based naming uh, because uh, if you're recording at your home, you're always in the same spot. Um, and I also set the audio quality to lossless, which is essentially the same as a WAV file instead of, uh, so this way it won't be compressed. It'll take up a little more space on your phone, um, but it'll have uh, much better quality. One other note while we're in our iPhone here in the settings, uh, you really don't need a paid uh, iCloud subscription to do this. Um, if you're creating gargantuanly long uh, audio files, that might happen, but uh, for 99.99% of the people, uh, you really don't need it. So uh, as you can see here, um, iCloud comes standard with uh, five gigabytes and uh, that's free. And it's, it's pretty tough to, to fill up five gigabytes. Most of my iCloud, uh, you can see my iCloud space, it goes to messages and documents and so on. So uh, very little space is taken up uh, by these audio files. So no need to pay for uh, an iCloud account uh, or iCloud storage uh, just for these audio files. Okay, we're, uh, we're ready now to have a look at how you get the finder pointed at the spot where voice memo stores its files. So I'm at the desktop right now. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is go home. Okay, and that takes us to the top of our user directory. Select library. From library, select application support. From application support, scroll down to com.apple.voicememos, select recordings, and there you are. There's all of our voice memos. So you can see the uh, directory tree at the bottom of the screen here. It's um, your home directory library, application support, com.apple.voicememo, and recordings. And now we could go in and select and examine all the various voice memos we have, uh, both on our hard drive and on, and on iCloud. Okay, I think we're all set. Uh, voice memo is an incredibly easy app to use. There aren't a whole lot of options or buttons or settings. Just Press the big red dot and off you go. You are recording from your, uh, from your microphone and being wirelessly transmitted to your workstation. Okay, let me quick show you how this uh, works with the Zoom. Um, this really works with any device that adheres to Apple's standards for the, uh, um, for the USB port for audio input. So I have my uh, USB 3 camera adapter here. Uh, going into a USB cable that plugs into the Zoom. And uh, what you're hearing uh, right now is actually me speaking in through the, uh, the Zoom microphones. So this is going into voice memo and uh, from there be wirelessly transmitted to my Macintosh. Then I uh, dragged and dropped it into iMovie, into my video. And uh, there we go, all set. So this should work with any of the Zoom uh, audio recorders. Thanks a lot for watching. If you found this video helpful, please click like or subscribe uh, down below or leave a comment. I love to get comments and I try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thanks again.